another first for Burnley. The 2nd of June this year was not only the start of some reasonable weather after the dreadful spring, but it was also the day the Asda Foundation Pennine Lancashire 10k run came to Burnley. Preparations for an event like this, of course, start the evening before, so we had a sneak preview to what was going on. Are you running tomorrow, ladies? Yes, yes we are. Thank you. We've been racing today, we're racing tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At the moment we've got some portable toilets coming in and um, we've got a, a temporary race office set up today uh, for anyone coming who wants to come and collect their race pack who hasn't received it and um, we just put up a bit of signage, we set the route up a little bit as well uh, but the main gist of everything will go up in the morning so a lot of barrier, uh, a big gantry and then a lot more tents as well. The morning of Sunday the 2nd of June was beautiful a perfect day and by 8 a.m. on the mechanics car park the runners were gathering ready for the big moment the race is due to start at 9.30 there's plenty of time to get limbered up this wonderful run inspired by the run for all events is a legacy to the woman who raised over 1.75 million pound for charity Jane Tomlinson of Rothwell Leeds was just 36 when she was told that her metastatic breast cancer was incurable and that she had just six months to live. But over the next seven years, Mrs Tomlinson dedicated her time raising money, enduring the most gruelling sporting challenges. Her final and toughest challenge was in June 2006, cycling 4,200 miles across America. And in June 2007, she was rightly awarded the CBE for charitable services. She died at St Gemma's Hospice in Leeds on 3rd of September 2007. And now Burnley is honoured to be part of that legacy. Our local radio station, 2BR, were in attendance, interviewing and providing the entertainment. 2BR can also be very proud of the role they play in all these types of event, keeping our county completely up to date with everything that's going on. Jason Hardy can look forward to a busy day ahead. Are you running this morning, sir? You're not? Oh well, <laughs> never mind. A little earlier, inside the mechanics, scripts and other admin details were being prepared. Christopher Dean's attire suggests that he will not be broadcasting this morning. Hopefully I won't embarrass myself, having been banging on about how well I plan to do well, um, it'd be quite embarrassing if I don't, so we'll, uh, a bit of pressure I put on myself after talking about it on the show. Gemma Barron will be doing the big countdown and setting the runners off. The press were also out in full force. Our very own Burnley Express had a full complement of reporters and photographers recording this great day. Good luck to all the runners today. I hope you do really, really well. Fantastic fancy to take from our uh, instructor, so eight. So a nice cool breeze to keep us uh, nice and cool. We should be all right today. Yes. Did you know that we've got a couple of birthdays here today? No, please tell me who they are. It's almost time for the start as the runners go through a warm up session.
as Gemma Barron sends out all our good wishes, over 1,700 runners set off on their 10-kilometre run. As we watch this brave lady bringing up the rear of the pack, it's time for a short break and prepare for the finish. And by the look of some of those fit specimens, that wait won't be too long. This is the first Jane Tomlinson Pennine Lancashire 10k that we've ever held in Burnley. Um, we did one three years ago in Blackburn and it was always the intention that we'd move it around the Lancashire towns. Um, although I think we may have found its natural home in Burnley, hopefully. Everyone's been really supportive, everyone's come out today and there's been loads of people who've come out and cheered as well. Um, we had about 1,600 runners who entered, so most of those people have all turned up today and they're all running for a variety of causes, local causes like Pendleside Hospice, right up to charities like Macmillan and other things like that. So I think everyone's had a nice day so far. We're just waiting for the runners to come in now. The runners made their way through town, along Church Street, and then eventually into the relative peace of Thompson Park. It wasn't long before the route took them to Burnley's Jewel in the Crown, Townley Park, overlooked by the majestic Townley Hall. It seems that around 30 minutes after leaving the mechanics, word got back that the lead runner was not too far away, so and the media got themselves into position at the finish line. So well, we're on until they're actually back here. Oh. They've only been running half an hour so far. That's a pretty good effort. And the crowd is starting to build up a little bit more now as well. Hello, everybody. Those of you that have just joined us. Sure enough, in the time of 32 minutes and 39 seconds, Salford Harrier athlete Taurus Ellie was the first to cross the line. Here's our first male over the finishing line. Brilliant stuff. Not too far away, in the time of 34 minutes 34 seconds, Burnley lad Matthew Laylor came in second. Burnley can also be proud of Johnny McKenna, who came in third at a time of 35 minutes 42 seconds. And our first lady, Laura Heskett. Our first lady. Ooh, first, lady. first lady over the line in uh, 43.6 was West Thorn's Laura Hesketh. And Thomas is with the Clayton Moore Terriers as well. Well done, guys. Follow me, John. Laura, congratulations, how are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> I'm not surprised, have you done this for today? Uh, Pendlestown, Oscars. Excellent, well you should be proud of yourself and thank you very much. Get that clapping going, they deserve it, they put a lot of effort in. Stephen Brunt, Amanda King. We managed to have a word with a regular 10k runner, Louise Ford. Is this the first time you've run a 10k? No. How many times have you run? Oh, I've run a few 10Ks. It's the first time I've done it in Burnley. It was brilliant. Uh, are you are you're from Burnley? From Nutsford in Cheshire. Few, have you come all the way up here today to, to yeah. just to run this 10K? Well done to everybody yeah. How did you today. learn about Burnley? Um, 
on the internet because we, we do about three or four 10Ks a year. So we Some people are doing this to challenge themselves like to run. Run. And so well done. And Richard Bryan is like coming one. into the finish line. How did, how did you find the course today? Jules Fantastic. Like really Wick. well organised. Mark Holton. It was brilliant. Yeah. Lovely. Will you, if they hold it next year, I'll will be you back. be back? I'll be back. Yeah. yeah definitely. All right. Good for you. Thank, Thank you very much. Well done. Everybody there. Safe. We asked Steve Rumblow from Burnley Council what made him decide to run. Oh, I didn't have a choice really. But as soon as they said they were doing it, my staff just said, you've got to do it. Uh, 52.18, which is a little bit disappointing when I hope hoped to do a little bit better. But it's a great day, everyone's had a fantastic time. I'm sorry if I don't mention all your names. Christopher Dean is on his way back though. There he is, hello. You look shattered, mate. You're nearly there though, Chris. Come on. Christine. Oh, how are you? Yeah. Colin and Colin for Bradley. Like that all the way around? Brilliant. Hi, Gemma. Hi. How's it going? Oh, really, really good. They're all coming in thick and fast now, so it's, it's manic. We've got a little computer screen as well that tells us the names of people that are coming up, which is really handy. I wonder how you knew that. Very good. <laughs> it is. I'm not psychic in any way, shape, or form. So what about Chris? Did he do well? Um, I don't think he did as well as he wanted to. But he's, he's made it. He's got over the finish line, so... <laughs> How was it, Chris? Oh, I loved it. I can't deny I didn't. Beautiful course. The people out there are great. I put too many layers on, so I'm a bit hot. Should have gone to bed earlier last night. But a brilliant day. Brilliant fun. You really yeah. enjoyed oh, it. been good fun. Did you, what parts were sort of more difficult than others? Can you? There's a long, steady, very unpleasant climb on the back of Thompson Park uh, before you drop back down into Townley. And that just went on and on. It wasn't overly steep, it just kept going. And so that was a bit of a challenge, that's about 4k in. And then the rest, if I'm honest, it was good fun because you're going down into uh, Townley Park, all the people around the course, and whilst you're shattered, the people cheering and stuff, it's good fun. So yeah, good day. It inspires you, don't you? It, it is inspiring, yeah. It's um, people seeing, like, you see people running with names of lost ones, uh, people they're running in memory of, and uh, yeah, it's, it's an emotional day for a lot of people, but it's, yeah, good fun. Good fun. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So another feather in our town's cap. A very successful day. The only person to visit the St John's ambulance tent was a young lady with a slightly twisted ankle. We look forward to next year's 10k run.